Hi guys. So I decided to make this video entitled it, Are You in the Unequally Yoked Friendship? Because you know, we talk about unequally yoked relationships between a man and a woman, but I think I seen online someone, I cannot remember the situation now, but they said also, I think it was like, the topic was why you shouldn't tell everybody everything or how like some people really don't like something like that. And I read the comment that said, stay away from unequally yoked friendships. And I said, Ooh, that is so good. That's, that's an interesting way of putting that. I never heard it put that way before, but a lot of times we are in unequally yoked friendships with people. Um, I really feel like just, I wrote notes, but off the top of my head, I know, I feel like you are in an unequally yoked relationship where, um, when you feel like you can't shine, where you feel like you have to dim your light so other people around you or your friends can, can feel comfortable. Um, that's why I never judge anybody that's by themselves or doing things on their own, because sometimes it's just best that way to get things done. Um, as the saying goes, people like to see you good, but never better than them. And that's not all people, but sometimes it's usually the people that's closest to you. And just like they said, a lot of the times it's going to be strangers that support you the most. Isn't that crazy? But so be it. Strangers can become family and family can also become strangers. So um, let me get into the topics. So um, here are some ways that you know that you're in an unequally yoked friendship. Number one, you want to bring them to the table with you, but they haven't put their foot to the ground like you did. So I feel like that's an unequally yoked relationship. Or if you bring them to sit at the table that God prepared for you and they didn't put in the work to be at that table by their own merit, they're not going to appreciate it the way you did. And that's going to make you like kind of feel resentful to them because you know the work that it required to get to this place, but they don't. So I feel like that's an unequally yoked friendship. Like people that may not have had life happen to them yet. I like people that are like, that have been humbled by life, um, that may have overcome like a challenge and are grateful for it. And they know the meaning of life. They, they just have a pr appreciation for life. Um, they don't care too much about how they look or how somebody else looks. Yes, they look presentable. Yes, they put together, they look put together, but that's not everything to them. Um, I feel like it's not everything to me because it's a lot of well-dressed devils and demons. You know, that's how most people get God because they only looking up, looking at the outer appearance. When you know God looks at the heart, scripture. So yes, number one way. You can't have someone sit at your table that they didn't struggle to get to. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna like I said, you're gonna be so mad at them for not appreciating. And it's sometimes it's only in the grinds, only in the struggle that people get that appreciation for life. People rarely respect things that are handed to them. It's just um, it's just the way it is, except for people that went through something. They're very grateful. And if you give them something, they're going to make sure they look out for you going forward because they know that like you didn't have to do that. They know that it was a blessing from God, like that someone moved on someone else. It's not something that they um are taking for granted or or that they know that like someone isn't obligated to do anything nice for them or help them out in any way. So those are the people that I help. And those are the people, I'm that kind of person. Like, I'm very grateful for anything that somebody did for me because they really didn't have to. You know what I mean? I'm just so used to getting out the mud myself. But when somebody comes along and helps you out, it's just like, you're very grateful for that. So, um, yeah, just remember, like, sometimes we're trying to go to the next level and bring other people with us, but they haven't gone through like you have gone through. So you can't expect them to see as you do. They, You can't expect them to see the benefit of trading this stock or see the benefit of starting their own business. They may not see that because, you know, for them, life is fine. Life is coasting. But, you know, you may want more out of life. That could be an unequally yoked reason, too. 
when you want more out of life and they don't. Um, I feel like my own, the only friendships, the friendships that I have that actually that maintain themselves is when I continue to grow and my friends continue to grow. Um, you know what I mean? We grew together. So I feel like it's always going to be a problem when someone is just like, okay, at a certain level. I just feel like each, we're always supposed to grow year by year, get better year by year. As they say, wine do got that from fabulous. So it's a real thing. We should always be improving as iron sharpens iron. You know what I mean? You sharpen each other. And I can't have you being dull by not trying to strive for anything. People that don't strive for anything are dull. Message. All right. So number two, um, another sign of knowing that you are in an unequally yoked friendship is um, you don't feel comfortable sharing good news with those that are close to you out of fear that they will be jealous or they will criticize you. That's an unequal yoke friendship. Like, when you're in friendships with someone, it should not be or feel like a competition. Your lane is yours and my lane is mine. I'm not going to try to rub my accomplishments in your face and you shouldn't do that to me either. I will only do that if I didn't like you. Because if I like you, I want to see you win too. You know, it's no competition when... Their friendship is equally yoked. You know, I see you doing your thing. I see you, I see, you see me doing mine. But we also understand that we're in two different lanes. We shouldn't be comparing each other. It's the only time when it starts to turn into a competition. Sometimes you feel like you're in competition with your friends. They may not be coming from you, but sometimes it could be coming from them. Like, don't try to compete, just compete with me. I have a scripture for that. That's making me think of scriptures just like, People that compare themselves amongst themselves are not wise. People that compare themselves amongst themselves. Scripture. 2 Corinthians 10 and 12. And it says, let's read the New King James Version. For we dare not class ourselves or compare ourselves with those who commend themselves, but they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves amongst themselves are not wise. Let me read that again. Comparing themselves amongst themselves are not wise. You know what I mean? Because your road and my road will look different, but as long as we keep pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God, we're we're, you know what I mean? We're on the we're on the right roads. It may our journeys may look different, but as long as that's the destination that we're both heading to, I can celebrate you and you should be able to celebrate me on my road to that destination. You know what I mean? You're in no competition. You serve, you are uh, performing for an audience of one and that is God, Christ Jesus. You know what I mean? Because you know how the scripture said, oh no, the saying says, people don't have a heaven or hell to put you in. So y- you may do it better than me. I may do it better than you, but it does not matter because God is the only judge. We should not be comparing each other, judging each other, amongst each other. That is not wise. My story, my journey is different from yours and vice versa. That was like, you know, a little ceremony for myself. But um, yes, that is also an indication of um, an unequally yoked friendship. Because think about Joseph. The moment he shared his dream, he got thrown into a pit. They tried to bury him. People will try to bury you for your dreams, for for the good news that you're sharing with them, the things that you are excited about. They'd be ready to like throw dirt on you, throw dirt on your name as they try to bury Joseph. So that's a sign that you're in an unequally yoked friendship where you feel like you can't tell people your good news. Like his brothers was just like, here he go, his dreams. You don't want nobody to feel that way about you. Oh, here she going, her dream. Here she about to do something else. Oh, she about to write another. She about to do this. Like, um, whoa, no, not cool. So if you feel like you're uncomfortable sharing your dreams and visions with people, with your friends, that made me, yeah, so there we go. It may not mean that they're not a friend, but the friendship is definitely unequally yoked. 
Okay, so move as if only God is watching. Act like you are uh, an espionage spy and to tell your mission is to abort your mission. Sometimes we like talk too much. We want everybody to know what's going on with us. And sometimes you just want to like vent it and share it. But if it's like just to be like, look at me, that's probably that's something that you have to work on too, you know? But honestly, if God gave you the vision, unless he told you to tell others, keep it to yourself. Because sometimes it is when you start telling people that the abortion is, a, the, the mission is aborted. It's just... Because, you know, you told the wrong person, they sending out their bad vibes. Or they, they say something that throws you off. You have to be, like, mentally strong if you if you want to tell people stuff. I feel like, you know, after you got some W's underneath your belt, you can go ahead and share. Because you know that nothing is going to stop you. You know, you can, like, block out whatever criticism may come your way. But if you haven't built up anything or this is like the first thing you about to do, that's kind of a major move. I would keep that to myself. Just tell, keep it between you and God and talk to the people that God puts it on your heart or reveals to you to speak to. And that's it. You know what I mean? You can tell them after the fact, <laughs> after it's done and you done did it like a few months ago. <laughs> Show them how to do it on YouTube. Create a YouTube video. Mm <laughs> hmm. I'll teach you how to stunt. Like, um, let me show you how I did what I did. It's already done. So that's the biggest flex. So um, a lot of times people don't want to leave their unequally yoked friendships because you feel like, you know, you may be comfortable with these people. You think like, okay, how am I going to, like, who else am I going to talk to? But I believe... People will find you as you move and work on your dreams. Um, that's the only way to get out of unequally yoked friendships. Ever since I started building my brand and writing my books, promoting my books, putting myself out there, I've been connecting with people that are equally yoked with me. I may have not like discovered that or knew that. Just you know, I'm just comfortable with the people I got, people I met from school and stuff like that. It's nothing wrong with them. But you know what I mean? You just feel like, okay, I know them. That's it. But life is school. You know what I mean? Situations will turn into school. It don't stop just because, like, you're out of school with, in the institution-wise. You know, networking becomes school. You start, you will meet new people as you go out and do things. And like I said, the best way to do that is starting your own thing, creating your own brand, starting your own business. You will find new people along the way that, you know, want to see you succeed because they're probably working on something. They're working on their dream too. So they have no need to hate on you because they are busy working on themselves. They're growing themselves as well. So that is the best way to get out of an unequally yoked friendship or, yeah, friendship. I was going to say relationship. It's just I'm just so used to putting that together, but really is so true. Friendships can be unequally yoked. Um, other signs are if you know your interests start going this way, you may not want to go to the club no more. You may not want to like go to the same places y'all used to go when y'all was 21. You are now 25, 26, 27, 20, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. You may not want to do those things, but you know, the people that you started with still want to do that. And you almost feel like you're shrinking yourself or you're going back to a place that god delivered you from by going out again or it could be anything i'm just using that as an example but that's a way that's a that's one way a friendship can be unequally yoked um if and i also just feel like if we're not growing together if you're also not working on bettering yourself it may not be in the business wise but you're you're deciding to go back to school you decided to gain weight or lose weight you decided to just do something that you weren't doing before that's making your life more interesting and exciting and that we can talk about amongst each other that's if you're not growing you're you know you're you're dying 
spiritually, you know? So I just feel like that's very, very important. Just want to, I want, I just want to be around people that are growing as I'm growing. So those are just my few ways of realizing how you can identify if you're in an unequally yoked friendship. You know, if you feel like you can't tell them the good things that's going on in your life. And um, if you're trying to take them with you and they just don't have the vision, the same vision as you, or they don't have a vision at all for themselves. So I can still, you can still come along with me, but again, as long as we're moving in a certain direction, but if I'm moving and you're staying here, it, yeah, how, how can we meet? How can two work together except they be agreed? That's another scripture. Okay, guys, so those are the ways of identifying if you are in an unequally yoked friendship. Ship, and if you are in an unequally yoked friendship, how to get out of it. Just start talking about your dreams and working on them. And, you know, as you go to new places, you'll see new faces and you'll meet new people. And they'll be your new friends, you know? Just like that. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you soon.